Thanks for tuning in to Bourbon Drop. I'm your host, Myron. Today, I have finally gotten around to doing the review for the Penelope Architect store pick. So, shout out to SNW, man. SNW Liquors. Once again, shout out to Kevin, man. The dude is just, he's one of the nicest dudes I've ever met. Let's get it. Bottom drop, bottom drop, bottom drop. Penelope Architect is normally Penelope's just regular four grain, but finished with oak staves. Now, when you think about bourbons being finished with oak staves, you think about things like Maker's Mark 46. Uh, that 46 being finished with oak staves, French oak staves, it actually does make a big difference to me because I think it tastes so much different than uh, the typical makers. But the difference is Penelope has actually partnered with another company to actually scan the oak so that they can bring a different flavor profile now these are not considered batches these are considered builds this one is a private build it is build number 3022 of 3299 this is an snw store pick build or private select it comes in at 110 proof and like i said once again it is finished with french oak staves let's get into the nose All Penelope's always smell the same to me. There is a lot of apple and there's a lot of spicy oak. I don't get much else hold up. That is the first time I think I may have gotten just a touch of a cherry on Penelope. Yes, yes, I am getting cherry on this Penelope. Normally I get apples and spicy oak and that is all my nose was picking up in the beginning so it is apples pepper and cherries let's go into the palette wow wow that that cherry really transfers over but it's not heavy cherry it's not like a thick cherry syrup it's there and then it's gone Let's go back into the nose one more time to see if it's still there. Yeah, see, now on the second nosing, it just, it's more spicy, it's more vanilla. And that cherry has pretty much faded to the background. Let's go back into the palette one more time. That is really good. It has a thin mouthfeel though. That is one thing I will say about it. The mouthfeel is not medium, it's not thick, it's kind of thin. The finish is still hanging around though. So it's got a thin mouthfeel, it's got a drying oak in it, and it has like that nice crispy apple honey cherry that just comes across the front of the palate. It is sweet without being too sweet. It finishes with a lot of leather across the back. That is really good. I've got to go back in for a third sip. I don't know if it's the drying part of it or if it's just the juice itself, but it's not. It, I, I said thin. It's. I would say now going back into it, it's like a medium to thin mouthfeel. But I, I think it might be the oak in it that's drying me out that makes me feel like it's coming across thin. Because as I swirled it around in the mouth, it was a little viscous, but then once that oak starts to dry, it almost feels like it goes away, but the finish just hangs behind, man. That is really good. So, this is a store pick. I am a very huge fan of Penelope Architect, period. I love Penelope toasted products the regular batch i'm gonna have to find another one because this is batch three and i don't know what they're up i'm sorry this is batch eight and i don't know what they're up to now but a lot of people love their regular batch so 
He, Kevin at SNW also has a rose finish. I think I'm gonna have to go back and get that one because Penelope, pretty much every product that I've had from them has been good, except for this particular batch eight. And like I said, they're up to different batches now. So I would think they have better batches than the one that I got. And you know, all batches are batched differently. So this could be way different from their other normal four grain. Anyway, let's get into the breakdown. Is this worth over retail? This is already an expensive bottle. So if you see a Penelope store pick sitting at $69.99, that is a great price. I don't think I would go any higher. If I did, maybe $5 over retail. So 75 bucks would probably be the highest that I'd be willing to pay, uh, pay for a Penelope Architect store pick. Would I give it to a new bourbon drinker? It comes in at 110. It didn't really come in hot. It was just kind of drying, but I still wouldn't give it to a new bourbon drinker because 110 going down easy to me could be very hot for a new bourbon drinker. Will it always be on the bar? The funny thing about store picks is when they're gone, they're gone. Will I always keep an architect on a bar? Yes, because I think they are that good. This right here, if they have some more of these store picks, I will definitely pick one up. With that being said, let the whiskey flow. Never run out unless you're headed to a drop. Till next time.